welcome you all for this online FDP on Moodle Learning Management System. In this session, we are going to learn how to give assignments to all students. Now, this is my subject name. Under this, I have created so many units. Now, I am going to give assignment under unit 1. So, I have to first turn edit on. Next, I am going to select add an activity or resources under unit 1. Now, I am going to select assignment and add. Now, I am going to create a new assignment under unit 1. First, I have to specify assignment name. I am giving about fire extinguisher. discuss about fire testing user. Here I have to specify some description related to our assignment. Kindly go through the image and submit the assignment. After this, I have to enable display description on course page. Next, if we want to add some image files to our assignment, we can add through this file picker option. I have to select file picker. Then I have to upload, choose file. I have to choose I am going to choose an image related to my assignment. This will help for the students to do their assignment. I have to give upload this file. The image will be uploaded in the page. So I have give this image for their assignment. Next settings availability. Here a teacher can allow the student to submit their assignment from date to the due date. By enabling this option, we can set this in allow date and due date. If we have any cutoff date means, we are also able to enable this option and set the cutoff date for the assignment. Next, after submitting the assignment, the teacher can be able to remind them to create by enable this option. Next settings, submission type. A student can submit their assignment through online mode, otherwise they have to submit a file. We can set the settings. If a student going to submit their assignment through online means, we can enable this option and we can set a word limit to the assignment. If he is going to submit through a file submission method, we can able to set maximum number of uploaded files here. We can be able to submit up to 20 files for his particular assignment. We can set up to our name. Here I am going to select 5 files. More than 5 files he is not able to submit for the assignment. Next, maximum submission size. Here I have to give how much size can a student submit their assignment. If I specify 1 MB means he can't be able to submit his assignment more than 1 MB. So, this is a type of restriction. Next, acceptable file types. Here, I can able to choose file types for the student to submit their assignment. If I select presentation file means, the student can able to submit only presentation files. If I go to submit video file means, the student can able to submit only video files. Here, I am going to give all file types. Save changes. So likewise, we can change so many settings as per our preferences. Finally, we have to give save and return to course. If I select save and return to course means this assignment will be saved and it will be moved to my course main page. 
if I select save and display option means it will directly go to the assignment page in this grading summary page I, ha I am having total three students in my classroom up to now no one is submitted my assignment I have to grade total three students so this is my grade summary page next this is the due date given by me for submitting the assignments finally we can see the submission status and we can start to grade our students so now i am going to click view all submission how to grade a student in next session we will see now i am going to click view all submissions so total three student i am having so the list of students will appear here status of assignment up to now no student submitted if i want to grade means by using this option i am able to grade the student in below page there is an option lock submission lock submission is used to lock a particular student for submitting his assignment if i am select a student for name kumar i am selecting this student and i give lock submission go means okay I have to lock him then the student cannot be able to submit his assignment the student was locked if I want to again unlock means again select the student go to this option select unlock submission go if I want to download the student's grade mark sheet means same option select a student go to this option download selected submission means this student submission assignment will be automatically downloaded to our page in next session we will see how to grade our students thank you